The new Aqualab Series 4 TE measures water activity in five minutes or less, and that's about how long it'll take me to show you how to use it. This instrument is almost foolproof. Turn it on, put in a sample, close and lock the chamber, wait a few minutes, and get a water activity reading accurate to plus or minus 003 water activity units. This video will show you how to make sure every one of your water activity measurements is fast, accurate, and clean. Step one, turn the instrument on. The power switch is on the back of the instrument down low around the back left corner. It's a small rocker switch. Push the switch on and let the Series 4 start warming up. The Aqualab logo appears at startup. If user profiles have been set up on your instrument, you'll see a user login screen like this. I'll select my username and log in with my password. That will give me access to specific functions on the instrument and will record that I was the one who made this reading. If user profiles haven't been set up on your instrument, you won't have to log in, and you'll see this screen upon startup. The instrument is now warming up to a preset temperature. I've set the temperature to room temperature, or 25 degrees Celsius. If you're required to read samples at a specific temperature, you would set that specific temperature instead. While the Series 4 warms up, let's prepare a sample. Let's start by reviewing four keys to good sample preparation. First, be consistent. Doing the same thing every time will ensure that you get more repeatable results. Second, keep the lip and outside of the sample cup clean. Although the Series 4 is easier to clean than earlier versions of the Aqualab, you can save yourself a lot of time by avoiding contamination in the first place. Third, covering the bottom of the sample cup completely will ensure an accurate sample temperature. And fourth, filling a sample cup only half full helps you avoid other instrument cleanliness problems. Since I want to take a reading on this graham cracker-like product, I'll crumble it carefully into the sample cup. Again, making sure that the bottom of the sample cup is completely covered and that the cup itself is not more than half full. Unlatch the sample chamber by pulling the chamber lock lever to the right. Holding the lever to the right, lift the chamber lid. You can see a number of sensors recessed underneath the lid. The Series 4 makes these sensors much easier to monitor and keep clean but be careful not to touch them or to leave the lid open longer than you need to. Set the sample in the chamber tray and close the lid by pushing down firmly. You'll feel a little resistance and hear a click when the chamber is closed. Lock the chamber by pushing the chamber lock lever to the left. After a minute or two, the Series 4 will show an initial water activity for our graham cracker sample. This reading is preliminary and will change. The Series 4 will continue to make water activity readings until successive readings show that your sample has reached equilibrium. While we're waiting for this to happen for the graham cracker sample, let's take a look at how to prepare several different types of samples. Let's start with this cornmeal sample. Remember, in sample preparation, you want to cover the bottom of the sample cup with the sample material, but it doesn't need to be more than half full. A two full cup increases the chance of spilling sample into the sample chamber. With a powder or flake, just sprinkle enough to cover the bottom of the sample cup. You can carefully shake or tap the cup to distribute it evenly. Then, if you're not going to read the sample right away, seal the sample cup with a lid so the sample won't gain or lose water. Just remember to take the lid off before putting the sample cup into the chamber. Please note that sample cup lids are a good short-term solution. But if you're going to be storing your product any longer than a few hours in the sample cups, wrap the exterior of the sample cup in parafilm like this to prevent moisture loss or gain. When you're preparing something hard like this beef jerky, you can snip off several pieces with scissors. I've seen people shred jerky, but that really isn't necessary. About this much will provide a good sample. Syrups and sauces are also easy to prepare. Just make sure that the sample again covers the bottom of the sample cup and that the cup is no more than half full. As we saw earlier, cookies, crackers, and cake can be crumbled. Just cover the bottom of the sample cup with the crumbs. If you prepare a sample and put it into the Series 4 while it's still hot, you're likely to see this message. This indicates that the sample temperature and the block temperature are too different, which makes it difficult to get a water activity reading. 
To avoid the risk of condensing water on the cooler block chamber from the hotter sample, remove your sample from the instrument, put a lid on it, and wait a little while for it to equilibrate closer to the block temperature. Now let's return to the series 4 that was taking the reading on the graham cracker. Once the read cycle is finished, the series 4 will beep 4 times. Each time a reading is reached, the instrument automatically saves time, temperature, date, and user information. As you can see, the whole process is pretty simple. Your job is to keep it fast, accurate, and clean. Fast by making sure sample temperature is close to sensor temperature before you start. Accurate by protecting weighting samples with the lid. And clean by preparing the sample carefully and filling the sample cup to just half full. For more information on Aqualab or water activity applications, you can find us on the web or give us a call. Or if you happen to be outside the United States, contact your local distributor.